TikTok, a video sharing app that according to a study found in Teens on TikTok by Alan Moses, about 60% of teens use daily. TikTok presents teens with fun short videos and trends, which are basically challenges. Among these many challenges, the Devious Lick Challenge, which is a challenge that consists of stealing school property and bringing it home, has led to school bathrooms and other property being vandalized. This blame can only be placed on the parents, who show a clear lack of discipline towards their children. And students now show a clear lack of respect towards higher authorities. But where does this originate? Because of the lack of discipline from parents, younger teens in the next 10 years will show no respect towards higher authorities, be disrespectful towards private property, and develop emotional insecurities. Studies from Raising Children with Poor School Performance, an article by Oscar F. Garcia, shows that there are four different parenting strategies. Caring is strict, authoritative, caring but not strict, indulgent, strict but not caring, authoritarian, and neither caring or strict, neglectful. These studies have shown authoritative parenting as having the best impact on children's self-esteem and emotional regulation, and neglectful parenting having the worst impact on them. Indulgent and authoritarian fall in the middle. This shows that a clear relation exists between care and discipline in order for a child to have the best conditions. With good parenting, the study shows, children are better equipped for social situations and they know how to deal with peer pressure. A good number of children engaging in this trend are trying to fit in because the trend is the cool thing going on TikTok. A trend where children destroy school property shouldn't be as popular as it became. By teaching their children healthy ways to deal with peer pressure and laying down rules for their TikTok usage, parents can prevent harmful trends. Because as this study shows, children don't just need caring parents, they need strict ones as well. The Destructive Devious Lake TikTok Challenge is an article from the Washington Post written by Kristen May Chase, in which she explains it cost schools thousands of dollars in bathroom repairs and had to shut down their bathrooms in fear of this trend. And despite the teacher's efforts to prevent the destruction from happening, students will simply not listen to their teachers. This opposition to authority stems from the lack of discipline from parents. When children do bad things that they clearly shouldn't do, it comes from parents not teaching them consequences for their actions. Parents should teach their children that there are consequences for not following the rules. As an example for parents to use, this text mentions some cases of kids who got in trouble after the law for destroying school property because they thought that what they posted online was anonymous. According to an article named Teens on TikTok by Alan Moses, 60% of teens use TikTok regularly. This wouldn't be a problem if teens weren't spending an excruciating amount of time on the app and creating bad habits while they're at it. Teens tend to look at someone's nice house, really cute dog, or happy family and compare it to their own, creating unneeded insecurities and feeling their life is not enough. Parents should help their children create better habits and check on them regularly instead of letting them waste their time scrolling an app for hours on end. They also need to explain to them about the lie of social media, where people only show the best of their lives. Research shows that both care and strictness are required for best results. Without discipline, kids are gonna spend too much time on social media and be sad about their lives not being perfect. Without discipline, kids are gonna destroy school property and not worry about their actions because no one taught them that actions have consequences. To prevent a future where younger teens are disrespectful towards private property, teachers, and themselves, parents must be both caring and strict. Parents have to start teaching their children about actions having consequences and start setting time limits for phone usage and social media. This is Roger Rocha and thank you for listening.